Hey there everybody, it's Anaconda Squeeze here once again in Skyrim on the PS4. Today I'm bringing you the Realm of the Ebony Witch mod. This is brought to us by Neon IYT. And what this is going to do is essentially put a secret little realm, a little bit of a player home, and a couple merchants and some followers, some animal friends that we could have with us. Uh, and what you got to do to get to this is you want to go to Solitude over here, and you actually want to come to the Blue Palace because in the courtyard, just up here and on to the right hand side, is going to be a secret little portal. We're gonna go in that little portal, and that should actually take us straight into this realm, which has a nice name. The player home is called Wyclem, Wyclem House? Oh my goodness, the giant rabbits mod is killing it on this one. I don't take it off, because it's beautiful and I love it. Okay, we're in kind of a fun cave. I don't know if these are some of the followers we have. I don't believe so, this is just a fun little man just having a good time. Oh, there's so many rabbits. Just an abundance of animals out here. Okay. It's a little shaky. The mammoths are making it a little bit crazy, I feel. Okay. It looks kind of cool. Like, I like how this. Like, the, the mammoth effect is a little much. Oh, there's tiny baby mammoths over here. Look at this giant bunny, tiny mammoth. I love it. And these are all tamed mammoths, you can see, because they have the, uh... Well, I can talk to you? What are you saying? Nothing. But they've got the carved tusks, which means they're tamed. It's like the branding of cows. Happy wolf over here. This is one of our followers, so we're gonna have uh, a wolf, a husky, a bristleback, and a cave bear. And then somewhere in the, in the, in the world, uh, a purple rabbit spawns. And that's the fifth one. So yeah, uh... There is a little note on this one here, though, that uh, the followers are only accessible if you have the multiple follower system. So there is a mod we did a picture, uh, we did a uh, review on a while ago. Uh, the multiple followers mod have that installed, and then you can have all these guys. Look, he's sleeping. Too cute. Okay, well, I think I want to check out. I don't know what this is. I'm like hesitant to come in here with this like mystical rain thing. Oh, what's up, naked lady? Hi. For someone called the Ebony Witch, you're not wearing a lot of like Something anything. Do I have to like blur this if it shows her butt? Because that's her butt. I don't think her boobies are showing. No, they're tastefully covered, guys. It's okay, YouTube. Calm down. Okay. So we can talk to the Ebony Witch, and she's got a unique ring for sale. So let's see. Let's just go down her whole thing. Nothing really, like, insane that I'm seeing here. Blah, 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 blah. She only has 750 gold. That's not great. Let's kind of scooch along until we find our ring. Okay, so. I want to say this is the one. Yeah, this is the ring here. So, she's got this ring. And it should be for 10,000 gold. This is 11,000 gold. Inside this ring resides the soul of... Fafnir and the elder brother kin Jorgenmander their souls will grant you the power to resist the dragon's fire and freezing snows oh that's kind of cool like that's actually pretty solid okay that's kind of a cool little thing thanks naked lady uh, now there should be another merchant here in the form of a ghost dragon he's having a great time oh purple sky that's super creepy I don't know how I feel about that. Oh. oh, and there's our dragon. Okay. How do we get to you? There's gotta be a way. Maybe up this way? Do we have to parkour? Because I'll do it. I'm not too proud. I'm not really sure how you would get up here otherwise. There's something in here. Okay, buddy. Hi. I'm falling. I can feel it. Yep. I'm not sure how to get up to our friend there. Okay, so here. Yeah, we just completely ignored this when we came the first time. So let's just go up the stairs and see if we can talk to our friend. And see if he can tell us all of his good secrets. I assumed this would be the way to get up here. Like, how other... There's like a portal chilling... Do I have to go through a portal to land on that, like, platform? Oh my god. 
Oh, it's going to be through this. Okay, we're going to go through this. We'll see what's going to happen. I have a feeling... Yeah, okay. It puts us right into the session. <laughs> like, why? What is the point of this? And then he's right in my grill. <clears throat> Alright, Ghost. Now, apparently Ghost has a sword and a bow that have the same enchantment. He's got a little bit more gold. 1,100. Okay... Iron sort of dismay, I'm thinking, or souls. I don't know. But there are supposed to be a lot of money, so it can't be those. I'm just going down here. There we go. Worm's blade and worm's bow. Same enchantment on both. Burns the target for 50 points. Target's on fire. Take extra damage. Target takes 50 points of frost damage to health and stamina. Target takes 50 points of shock damage. That's a lot of stuff. Like, that's kind of cool. These are actually... They sound fairly solid. Okay, well, that's not the worst thing in the world. Let's go inside the player home here. Hopefully this has kind of everything we're going to be looking for. It isn't going to be missing anything major. And then I can look past the weird teleport to a platform thing. Because that was a little odd. Here's our husky friend. Not to say he's thicker. I think he's just a husky. Okay, we got a couple of bookcases here. That's our husky follower. We got a little fish. Can I get in this chest? Oh, that's so cool that there's actually stuff in here. Okay, nothing too crazy in there, but it's... I just like the fact that the chest works. That's kind of nice. Something we haven't seen before. Bookcase, bookcase. Okay, let's go through this door first. We've got our kitchen prep area. Search our knapsack. Nothing too crazy. Do we have stuff we can steal? We can take all of this. That's excellent. We've got our oven for cooking. That's not terrible. Okay, let's do this door. That's up and downstairs. And then, watch out, husky bud. What is this? We got a wardrobe over here. Just got some boots in it. Okay, now this goes back to outside. I don't know if I want to hit this one just yet. Let's do upstairs and downstairs first before we do any outside stuff. Hop over the husky, go down. More bookcases. Another wardrobe. I'm just looking for secret entrances that are possibly in here. Okay, this is our smithy area. Our forge. Got a couple weapon racks to display the cool things we make. We've got our tanning rack. Here's all of our alchemy stuff. Lots of shrines. Not shrine, just one shrine and a bunch of statues. Coin purses that have 30 gold, 30 gold, 30 gold. Nothing crazy in there. I do like having miniatures on here though. Like that's just always I'm always a sucker for miniatures. 21 Oh, there's just so many different random things of gold. Okay. But lots of health potions and other potions, like I'm definitely gonna need those. Oh, and we've got our mannequins. That's excellent to see. So far, lots of storage. Like, it's not theme storage or anything like that, but still a ton of storage. Nothing crazy in there. Okay, let's head upstairs. Oh, should we? Is there a door? Nope. Don't want to miss something. Let's check the upstairs now. Oh, he's just wobbling over. Oh, tiny bookcases. I don't like that these trees are moving. That's just trippy. Okay. We got some shrines, we've got a lot of wine, some more tiny bookcases. A nice table setting. This is the followers room. Oh, I love this so much. Look at these things. Oh, these are so cute. That sword's a little wonky, but it's still cute. Adorable little dollhouse for children. Toy box. Cool, playing with tusks wardrobe I just I, I feel like I have to search something I can never remember what the right one is yeah so if you do have the uh, reload uh, if you do have the relocate NPCs mod on um, you can actually send your spouse and your children here so it is compatible with that so that's always good to see I appreciate when a mod dev does the work and make sure that those things are actually doable these are empty got some empty stuff here for the master bedroom more shrines bookcases 
These are really cool. I really like these. I don't know why I'm looking at this. It says it's empty. I'm having a good time. This is a very nice house so far. Okay, really pretty. Let's head downstairs and we'll do the outside door now. This one here. I think it goes right back out to the courtyard we were just in uh, with the witch, maybe? Oh, we have a nice little outside area. Okay. That's a cute little garden, cute little porch sitting area right behind the bear. And I keep hitting circle thinking that's crouch because I forgot which game I'm playing. Okay. I want to just double check there's nothing special over here. Like, I'm not a, I'm not a terribly... Oh, what? Just scratch that thought right now. Look at these giant netches over here. Oh, creepy. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. Yeah, this... This isn't a bad mod. Uh, I would say my, my issues really are... Um, biggest issues is the fact that like we have to do a loading... A small loading screen to get to a platform to talk to the dragon merchant. Which is a little weird. But, oh well, it is what it is. Uh, and then second thing, I wish that this wasn't... Uh, actually, no. Like I was gonna, say, I was gonna say I wish it wasn't um, like in the pa the blue palace, but I, like I feel like that's actually not too terrible. Um, I'm not gonna go around the world trying to search for the purple rabbit. Apparently, it can spawn a couple different places. Uh, it's just a purple rabbit follower. He just holds things. He doesn't attack anyone or anything like that. Like, oh no, we lost a bunny. And did we lose the witch? What happened? Oh no, she's just chilling. Girl, you are super naked. Like, okay. But no, all in all, it's not a terrible mod. It actually has a really nice house inside. This is the only thing I don't like. That, that's, if I could take that away, I'd be okay with this. I just don't enjoy the floaty platform. I will put a link down below in the description if you want to check this out for yourself. I recommend you do. Uh, if you enjoyed yourself, please make sure you like down below as well while you're down there. And if you haven't already, do not forget to subscribe. Um... I just really appreciate everything you guys have been doing so far. The, the support for the channel has been overwhelming. Uh, and if you want to, make sure you hit that bell. We do do a streaming series in which we check out some other uh, mods that are maybe too long or too small to get their own video on this series. But it's a good way just to kind of get some extra mods in. And, and uh, we actually have been talking to a lot of mod devs and stuff in the stream. So that's been a lovely little bonus. But yeah, so make sure you hit that bell and we'll give you a notification of when we're going to do our streams. Until next time, my name is Anaconda Squeeze and I will see you all later. Bye!